New at six at last word, Kelly's law is awaiting the governor's signature. Kelly Gorzell's death in a boating accident seven years ago is why her parents pushed for a law to save others from that same fate. Jesse Degoyata reports from Canyon Lake ahead of one of the biggest boating weekends of the entire year. The first of a likely armada of boats and jet skis already have a head start on their Memorial Day weekend. Heading out with his family for a quiet cove to stay out of the fray, this longtime boater knows the importance of staying attached to a boat's kill switch. Somebody hits the throttle, snaps the boat, and out the back you go, and there goes the boat. They could eventually drown or, like Callie, tragically be hit by a boat propeller. As long as the boat driver is using the switch, it protects everybody on the boat. Callie's father believes it would have saved his daughter's life. Even though 95% of boats probably have cutoff switches now, only about 30% of the people use them. But under Callie's law, they'll have to, using a lanyard if the boat is 26 feet in length or less and in motion. Even though Callie's law wouldn't go into effect until September 1st, her family says it's important that boaters this Memorial Day weekend know about how the law can save lives. Well, you know, we hope they start doing the right thing right now. Unless, as the Gorzels say, boaters don't understand why until it's too late. But at least now they say there's Callie's law. Her death is not in vain, and she's, she, I know she's happy. At Canyon Lake, Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.